Hey, greetings. This is Brother Jim at Don'tPerish.com, John 4, 24 Radio. Hey, we're out on the mission field today. Got the chance to share the gospel with people. I wanted to share with you why we hate man-made religion. Yeah, there's the gospel wagon right there. Yeah, man-made religion. We love the people. We're at war against these man-made systems. And I want to share with you why. Yeah, so we were out today, we had to stop at a store, and while we were in there, I saw a man that appeared to be maybe an Anabaptist, Mennonite, Amish, and we went outside, and his timing would have it. He was walking out when we were walking out, so after I loaded up my truck with our goods, this was in mid-Missouri, I walked over to him, and I handed him a gospel track, and I said, this is for you, it shows the way to eternal life, and started sharing with him. He was very cold. He was very uncaring, and I said, you must be a man of faith. Are you a man of faith? And he said he's a Ma Amish Mennonite. Not just one man-made religion, two. Menno Simons and Amish come from Jacob, Jacob Amon. And I said, well, hopefully you know that Sunday church does not get you into heaven. And he said, oh yeah, that's true, and he kept moving away from me. I was just standing there. This whole thing took like 30 seconds. I wasn't keeping him from anything. And he turned to grab his cart and started walking back in the store. He was in no hurry because he was driving with someone and they were still in the store. So he could have st stood and talked. I said, well, Jesus Christ is the way. We must repent. We must be born again and not keep man-made religion. Amen? And he turned and he walked away. And here's what I want to share with you. Jesus said, the greatest commandments are to love God and love your neighbor. Mark 12, I believe. Well, let me ask you a question. Did this Amish Mennonite man love God enough to stand and talk about the things of God with me? No, he didn't. Let me ask you another question. Did this Amish Mennonite man love me enough to stand and talk to me about the things of God? Let's say he thought I was totally unbiblical. Did he love me enough to stand there and talk to me about the things of God? No. Let's say he thought I was his enemy and he just thought I was an enemy. What did Jesus say? Love your enemies. Did he stand and try to share any life-saving truth with me? No, nope. he walked away. He was more concerned about putting his cart back than he was about talking about the things of God. The wind's picking up, I hope you can hear me. So the point is, this is why we hate man-made religion. This man has probably sat in a pew his entire life and all he knows is gathering on Sunday looking like a religious guy with his beard and his outfit and his hat, not interested in the biblical gospel, doesn't show the fruit of being born again, doesn't show the fruit of loving God, doesn't show the fruit of loving his neighbor or his enemy. No light is in him that could be seen. So I just, I just wanted to bring that to you. This is why we're at war with man-made religion and why we go there with gospel signs and why we seek out people and we witness the truth. We are so burdened when we see people that keep Sunday religion, but they don't have the gospel. They don't have the fruit of eternal life. They're on their way to hell just as much as the drunk or the drug addict in the ditch. But yet man-made religion says, you're okay. You come to church on Sunday. You remember here. This is a lie. This is heresy, and we love our neighbor, so we fight to tell the truth at don'tperish.com. Back to our gospel trailer. Yeah, the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life in Christ Jesus, Romans 6, 23. But we must come through faith. We must repent. We must be born again. Anabaptists show no fruit of that. And then we must obey in holiness and endure in the faith. Man-made religion, producing the fruit of false converts, spiritually dead people. We love them enough to keep telling the truth. He got the gospel card. I hope and pray he reads it and tests himself to it. This has been Brother Jim at Don'tPerish.com. Go there. Hundreds of articles, audios, and videos to help you in the true faith. We love God and we love our neighbor. Down the gospel road we go. Till next time, have a glorious day. May God be praised.